What is up all of my new chinchilla owners here stopping by to visit the channel. Uh, we appreciate it for sure. Today's question comes to you from the blog post about if chinchillas can eat fruit or not. Um, this video could be super long, but I'm going to try not to do that for you here. I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet, mainly because I make these quick videos just to place in the blogs for people to enjoy a video if they prefer to learn the information that way instead of reading all of the actual text. Um, for anybody who's new, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that little notification button down below so that you get notified the next time that I do release a video and so that you're just part of this new Planet Chinchilla community here. It's built to help all of the new chinchilla owners um, with all the questions you guys might have. Plenty of links within the post, highlighted, underlined in blue. Feel free to click around, navigate around, and learn as much about these guys as possible. As far as the fruit, offering fruit for your chinchilla to eat, instead of listing out 500 fruits, because I wouldn't even remember those, nor am I that good on camera to do that, my biggest recommendation would be to only use fruits in very moder a very moderate amount of them. Do not do it often. It should be a treat, not any kind of meal. And then in this blog post, I have a table that I created. It was easier just to make a nice chart for you guys that went straight down the list than it would be to write 500 different blog posts. So in that table, it will say the name of the fruit. If it's safe, for example, like strawberries, bananas, um, raspberries, blueberries, whatever the case may be, go down that list. If it says yes, that it is safe, that means that you can give it to them in moderation. A lot of people use dry fruit. Actually, here's kind of an example here in her cage some dry fruits, um, like dried strawberry chips, that's okay in small moderation. The biggest problem that you have to avoid is chinchillas have itsy bitsy little intestinal tracts, little tiny stomachs. So too much sugar, too much uh, calcium can throw things out of whack and cause some blockages. You don't wanna be you know, just eating a whole bowl of fruit with them sitting on the couch or anything crazy like that. So keep it in moderation, stick to the fruits from a reputable website that can be Planet Chinchilla. Um, I've owned her for two years. Anything I put in this blog, I'm, I'm steering you in the right direction is the easiest way to put it. Sorry for choking on my own words there. Use that chart in this post, just kind of go through it, look at the different fruits. The other biggest recommendation I can give you about anything you feed a chinchilla, read the rest of this post. Um, in order for me to sum up 3,500 words for this post about what these guys should be eating, it would take way longer in this video than I know that you feel like sitting here for. So just, even if you skim it, skim the rest of this post. I've got plenty of headlines in there on things that you should and should not be doing um, when you're offering any kind of food or treats to your chinchilla. Um, again, the table, use it, see what fruits are safe. Another big tip, I almost let you go without saying it, that would have been bad. Do not trust the pet store labels. Just because they have a picture of a chinchilla on it does not mean it's safe for a chinchilla. Read the nutrition, nutritional label, read the, read the ingredients, make sure it's something that's safe for a chinchilla. Again, all these tips are in this blog post. Just you know, scroll down, do what you gotta do. If it's something that needs further elaboration, I would have linked out, which you'll see with blue text that's underlined. So if you get curious about another question throughout the post, just click that link and move right through the post. Um, it's as easy as that. Um, if you are new here, a few things to keep in mind, just a quick update. All the posts on this website, if you end up coming back all the time because you have 500 more questions, that's awesome, we appreciate it. They are going to start having short videos like this. Obviously, if you wanna skip it, you can just read all of the content, that's not a big deal at all. Um, really, the only reason the video is here in the first place is for the people who prefer to watch instead of read. I just wanna deliver the content in two ways. Um, but these videos will start being a part of everything I put out there. Next biggest thing is you need to help me help you. If you're new to owning a chinchilla, I can't figure out what you need from me if you don't let me know. You can drop comments in the bottom of every post on this website. You can go to the Contact Us page at the bottom of every web page. Shoot me a message. I'll email you back and forth all day about these guys if you have questions. You know, leave a comment on the YouTube videos if you want a certain video created, I'll just post it straight to the YouTube channel and then you'll get notified when it comes out. I'll probably make it the next day for you, honestly. These don't take too long to throw together, but just communicate with me and then we can um, get you all the answers that you need. But in general, can chinchillas eat fruit? Yes, in moderation. Make sure it's a fruit that's safe using the table below in this post. Don't do it very often. Um, 
keep an eye on them if you do it. You don't want to, if you haven't fed your chinchilla fruit in the first three months and you just start doing it tomorrow, obviously watch and make sure that they're feeling okay. Just common sense type stuff, guys. Um, these guys aren't super hard to own by any means. We appreciate you stopping by uh, more than you know. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that little bell notification again, and we will catch you next time. Thanks for stopping by.